We're having a party at the prom. Yeah. What are you most excited for? About out there standing and feeling the beat. For some special education students, prom can be an intimidating and overwhelming place. Little Miami School special education aide Jamie Fearback says most of these students don't attend the proms planned by the high schools. Either from sensory issue, issues like um, it occurring in the evening, um, maybe they don't have parent support to get there, uh, maybe they can't navigate their environment on their own. That's what makes daylight prom so important, a place for hundreds of students to come together in a sensory friendly environment during their school day. I think it's a great opportunity for kids, especially me, to um, get out into the community and have a good time and dance and eat some food and get to, want, get to know one another. It's all planned and executed by Little Miami's student government. And this prom means just as much to the students who plan it as it does to the students they plan it for. You don't even have to worry about being different or anything. It's just everybody is, you can dance however you want, you can talk to whoever you want, and there's no judgment. It's amazing. That's why they made it a priority to make daylight prom free. We set a goal at the beginning of the school year to pay for every person that attended um, because in years past it has really limited the schools that could come um, just with financial burden. Making this year's prom <laughs> their biggest one yet. You leave this day with the happiest heart. It really, um, it's just a happy occasion. What does it mean to you to be here? How do you feel? Happy. In Westchester, Chelsea Sick, Local 12 News. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.